the warmer weather, is it kind of putting you in a panic? Are you in that panic mode right now wondering uh, if you're going to feel good in that bathing suit? You planned on doing it and changing your habits, but time got away. Well, you still have time to make changes for a healthier lifestyle. Don't worry, Gail Taub with us, a nutrition coach and fitness trainer with Gazelle Health is joining us now on the show. Gail, are you going to get us fit and healthy and happy for the summer? Always, yes. Good morning, Ronnie. Nice to, nice to be here. What advice do you have for us winter couch potatoes? Winter couch potatoes, well, um, my advice to you is not to try and change everything overnight, right? We, we, we need to pick one small thing uh, to try and take a step toward improving our health and wellness. And uh, when you look at the big picture all the way down the road, sometimes that gets overwhelming and you try to do too much at once and it usually does not work. So uh, think about something small, whether it's the way you eat, whether it's the way that you're moving, or whether it is the way that you're thinking about your own health and wellness and see if you can make a little tiny change uh, this week. So uh, Gail, I know you say there are three pillars of health, how you move, how you eat, and how you think. So this week we really kind of want to tackle the how you move. So yeah. what should we be doing if someone has not really been active? Is it? Do you start with walking, just walking? Can it make a difference? Yeah, so assessing yourself first or having a professional like me or someone else assess you um, and where you're at today is super important because then you know how to take a step forward and where that needs to be for you as opposed to everyone else. Um, so assessing yourself really means being honest and having a quiet moment and thinking about how often do you get your heart rate up and you sweat and for how long each day? If the answer is not at all, um, and not at all during the week, maybe you're such a busy person or you're not comfortable exercising and you find yourself sitting for at least 80% of your days because of whatever it is in your life that's happening, um, then walking is a wonderful way to get started. Uh, start with, uh, trying to walk fast enough and long enough to get that heart beating faster, use that handy um, heart monitor that a lot of us have on our wrist, um, maybe even check your pulse, make sure it's coming up and staying up for a few minutes more than it is today. If you're somebody who moves a little bit more than that though, you might wanna think about um, the way in which you want to improve your moving. So. Do you want to lift a little bit of weight? Do you want to be in a, a, a group exercise class? Do you want to take it 10 more minutes in a day? How do you exert more energy uh, for just a little longer than you are at this current moment? So it's really about uh, getting in the habit of just changing one thing, yeah. one little habit and then build on those habits each and every day. Yeah, so if you're somebody who has attempted at, at one or more times in your life, to get healthy, right? Let's say it's about your eating or movement. We're talking about movement right now. Um, and you think back and you think back to the things that did not work for you versus the things that did work for you, even if it didn't last as long as you wanted it to. Go back to the stuff that works, guys. Go back to the things that you know served you well um, and revisit those things and see if you can incorporate in a reasonable amount of time and effort more than you're doing today. Um, the ones of uh, the, the, the times that you try and do too much or you think that, hey, you know what, five years ago or when I was young, I used to go hard and I used to do all of these things. And that vision of yourself is so clear. Well, guess what, guys? <laughs> if you're not at it consistently for two weeks, that kind of turns around. So you can imagine what happens if you try and revisit what you used to be a month ago or three months ago, or better yet, a year ago or five years ago. You need to start that again, slowly. So Gail, I bet you're a, a great accountability partner. Um, about 30 seconds left, how can people find you and connect with you? Love that. So number one, there is no risk. There is no fee for having an initial conversation. So pick up the phone or text me at uh, coachgail.com. 
It's G-A-Y-L-E, coachgale.com is my website. You can message me through there and take a look at some of the uh, content. Um, you can also call me or text me at 248-885-1400. And there's no harm, guys. The least that could happen is we meet and we enjoy each other's company, we listen, and I can direct you to help, and then we get going if it makes sense for us to work together. I love that. Thanks so much for your time and all the advice. We appreciate it. You're welcome. Have a wonderful day. Stay strong, be healthy.